in my previous video i made a transmitter and receiver for my drone that did not look too much professional that you know and with this transmitter i was able to flying in my homemade drone but that drone also did not look so good so with that calculation in my mind i am starting the drone series again and this series will be divided into three videos and in this video i will explain small part in a very details as a result you can create a drone for yourself without any confusion see it is my pwm receiver that i made on a prototype board and this is a flight controller and which has ppm receiver and flight control system and look it is pretty big and not too light that is why i am going to recreate all those type of pcbs and guys making those pcb was also challenging subject for me because the pcb i am trying to make they must be fit properly in my 3d printed box so i tried to make a 3d design in a very beautiful way to exact size of the pcb that i made and luckily it was successful and definitely you will find the still file of all those design in the description box on the other hand for your help i have made all those pcb in a single layer so that you can make those pcb at home the pcb pdf layout you will find in the description box okay now i want to make all those pcbs in professional way so i will upload all those pcbs garbo file in jlcpcb website jlcpcb is one of leading pcb making prototype company in the pcb world here i have ordered three type of pcb there are the flight control board a transmitter board and pwm receiver board and guys of course here i have selected pcb of different color because it is absolutely free and remember guys i have been able to enjoy all those benefit at a very low cost so don't waste any more time for more information visit the jlcpcb website i hope you remember these are the 3d printed parts which i made this is lower part it is upper part it has a switch cover left right side joystick cover and oled guard if you want to know step by step transmitter working principle then i would highly recommend you watch my previous video even in this video i have also shown everything in a very suitable way so keep watching this video and you know guys these are the pcb boxes that i receive in 7 days see this is my transmitter kit and this transmitter pcb is divided into three part so i will break it and in this box we will find also the pwm receiver board and you can see here this pcb is really small and lightweight and the last pcb is this black flight control board this flight control board i will use for my drone but in today's video we will see how a transmitter and pwm receiver works here i have used a arduino nano as a brain of this transmitter as a result you can easily create it right and with that i used a barger to listen the beep sound i decided to use 2.3.7 volt lithium battery as a power source to run this transmitter i will use this as a series connection okay you can see our circuit board is complete before mounting the arduino on the board you must see if there is a 5 volt supply on the board yes there are 5 volt here so i can put my arduino on the board permanently on the top of it and i will mount this board inside my 3d printed box with nuts and bolt next i'm going to use a separate pcb here for the nrf24 transceiver module and you must know that this nrf24 module maintain communication within a distance of 900 meter between transmitter and receiver that is why it has been taken care of differently so i made a separate pcb for it that reason to give 3.3 volt correctly to this module and after this board is done i will let us it to the main board to see if this nrf transceiver module has 3.3 volt and here you can see 3.3 volt are present so i will insert the nr24 module into this pcb and attach it to the box okay now of course the joystick part here i will use two pcb for two joystick here i am using small joystick you can buy this kind of joystick for a little money i will mount this joystick inside the board and after that of course i will fasten the board into the 3d printed box with nut bolt here i will use 200k potentiometer for two different channel the reason why if i build an rc card in a future so i will need it next i will mount my 3.7 volt battery on the right side and left side in this box okay guys you can see all the bottom part is done now it's time to do the work at the top to see what value each of my joystick is sending here so that is why here i will use 128 by 64 resolution oled display and i will put this display inside my 3d printed top cover and i will secure it with hot glue and with that i must have some digital switches to control my transmitter properly so in that case i will use a nine switches here i stuck each of switches into this 3d printed frame above with hot glue 
this is what it look like after connection each of them properly and after then i will put all the caps on the switches and definitely i will not forget to turn off the upper switches cover and after then i decide to use three analog switches for on off and first one is on off and the other two are for digital channel one and digital channel two and here i will use some leds to actually analyze each of this digital channel okay finally our transmitter is done you can see so you know guys as i promised this time i will make a pwm receiver this is the board of pwm receiver and look there is nothing here just an atmega 328p ic and another one is nrf24 transceiver module after everything is mounted it will little bit like this once it is complete properly okay guys now this is the main time the program part now i will first upload the program to this receiver board i will use my homemade programmer for that okay guys you can see this is the receiver code so i will upload this once the program is done i will mount this ic in this board and after then i will insert the usb cable to my transmitter please note this code was created by electnov who has a lot of knowledge about this type of transmitter and receiver i just tried to update his design thanks man and here you can see this is the transmitter code so i upload this transmitter code into my transmitter and you can see guys my transmitter is run and here you can see my OLED display is showing me my channel logo okay guys now the most interesting fact is to check it out i am super excited to see its action so that is why i want to fully charge this transmitter for the first time that is why i will use a balanced charger here 30 minute you can see here my transmitter battery are fully charged this time i will unplug it and even you can see here my lcd is showing me my battery voltage is 8 that means everything is fine here i will use a brushless motor and two servo motor and i hope you know guys i need a esc for brushless motor so i will connect this esc with my brushless motor and this esc signal pin i will connect my receiver signal pin 1 and in the same way i will connect the servo 1 in digital pin 2 and servo 2 i will connect digital pin 3 as a power source i will use a 12 volt battery here to run them and see guys my brushless motor will start spinning whenever i raise my throttle in the same way when i move other joysticks my servo also respond correctly and whom i can control as i wish and guys please note this is the pwm signal receiver with this receiver you can only work rc car and die projects but the ppm signal is unique ppm signal are used only for drone or any other kind of flight control system in the next part you will see how the ppm signal is actually work and how a flight control is controlled by arduino in today's video i have tried to explain as well as possible if you have difficult to understand any of this, be sure to let me know in the comments and definitely I will mention that in the next video. So guys, I would request you to wait for next video. This was today's short video. If you don't like this video, please dislike it and if you like it, please subscribe my channel and stay well and stay healthy. See you again in the next video. And thanks to JLCBCB for sponsor this video.